welcome to my youtube channel and so in this video we are going to look at the next rule of differentiation called the product rule so this rule applies to a function that is made up of a product of two other functions so for instance if we have um, like here we said let u and v be functions of x okay so you have u a function of x and then you have another function v maybe h of x okay so now if you now have y to contain these two as a product maybe u v and you want to differentiate y with respect to x so you are going to treat this as a product so this rule applies to this so when you have for example this now you can see 3x squared plus 4 is a function of x 1 plus 5x is also a function of x and both of them are multiplying Okay, so this gives you a product. Although for this kind of example, you can actually open this bracket and still take the derivative of the single polynomial that will be produced. However, the product rule makes it easier for you. And also, there are other examples where you cannot actually open a bracket. For instance, if we are given 3x sine, maybe sine x. Okay, so you can see this is a function of x and this is also a function of x and you cannot maybe open any bracket or anything here so it is only product rule that can allow you take the derivative of a function of this nature so what does product rule say it says that if you want to take the derivative of a product of this nature that you should pick the first function first function and then multiply it by the derivative of the second function v and then plus pick the second function then multiply it by the derivative of the first function and that would have given you derivative you are looking for all right so let's take some examples example one says that we should uh, find the y dx if y is this meaning we should differentiate it okay solution okay so to differentiate this first of all we will give names to this so we can say let this be our u and this one be our v so if our u is uh, 3x squared plus 4. Now, one of the things you must first do is to find the value of these derivatives since you know you will need them in the formula. Okay, so since our u is this, it implies that our du dx is going to be equal to the derivative of this, which is equal to 6x. And if you differentiate 4, you will get 0. And so we have gotten our u and du. Now, our v is given as this other one, which is 1 plus 5x. And so that means that our dv dx is going to be equal to, if you differentiate 1, you get 0. You differentiate 5x, you get 5. Okay, so bringing all of them now into our formula. So it means that our dy dx, which is given as u dv, you can actually write this dv dx in short form dv plus v du and so this is equal to our u is 3x squared plus 4 multiplied by v which is 5 then plus sorry yeah multiplied by dv which is 5 then plus uh, our v which is 1 plus 5x multiplied by du which we got as 6x All right so if you open up this bracket 5 multiplying this will give you 15x squared plus 20. Then open this one, you will have 6x plus 30x squared. And then if you bring everything together, um, our dy dx, which we can also write as y prime, is equal to 45x squared, then plus 6x plus 20 and that is the required solution for example one okay so we look at example two example two is just similar so all you need to do is uh, name your u and v it's always good to name the first one u the second one v so our u is x squared minus 3x plus 5 so that means our du will be equal to that with respect to x will be equal to 2x minus 3 that's differentiating this you get 2x you differentiate this you get minus 3 if you differentiate 5 you will get 0 
and so our v will then be 2x minus 7 so which means that dv dx will be equal to just 2 okay so introducing it into our formula which says that uh, dy dx where so in this case our u is x squared minus 3x plus 5 and our dv we got here as 2 then plus our v is um, 2x minus 7 then multiplied by our du which is 2x minus 3 that's going to give us 2x squared minus 6x plus 10 then on this other side this is going to multiply this and also multiply this so we're going to have 4x squared this times this is minus 6x and so we are done with that so 7 will also multiply this and also multiply that so minus 7 times this is minus 14x minus 7 times minus 3 is 21 and so bringing everything together we are going to collect like terms 2x squared plus 4x squared is 6x squared minus 6x minus 6x minus 14 will give us minus 26x 10 plus 21 will give us plus 31 and that's the solution for example 2 okay and finally we have example 3 here which contains a trig function although we have not uh, discussed the derivative of trigonometric functions but of course i used the limit in one of our videos to find the derivative of sine x please take time to look at that video however we are going to take time to also discuss the derivative of trig functions in our later videos okay so now um to find the derivative of this we can state our formula here that's um, u dv plus uh, v du and from this equation now our let's call 3x squared our u and then sine x should be our v okay so if that happens it means that our u is 3x squared so if u is 3x squared then du dx is simply 6x and so our v is sine x if our v is sine x it means that dv dx that's a derivative we got it to be what cos x we also call this constant uh, standard derivatives all right so now substituting everything into our function or sorry our formula we're going to have uh, h prime of x which is a derivative will be equal to our u which is 3x squared multiplying dv and dv we got as cos x then plus our v which is sine x multiplying our du which is 6x okay and uh, if you now multiply everything out here we are going to have 3x squared cos x plus 6x sine x as the solution to this last problem so it's actually very easy to handle product rule just state your formula get your u and v get your dv and your du substitute into the formula and then simplify that gives you your solution okay that's where we'll stop for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like comment and please do share our youtube videos and channel to your friends and family and we'll see you in our next video bye